You are the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. Nobody deserves you. Everyone, it's Gaston here, but you knew that. You're probably wondering why I've taken over this YouTube channel, whatever that is. Well, as you can probably tell, I'm here to submit my opinion about the new Beauty and the Beast movie. Not going to lie, as much as I'm excited, I'm a little on the fence about it. But if it means seeing me up on the big screen again, I guess I'll give it a look. And I'll be sure to give you my opinion right after I've seen it, because after all, nobody's opinion matters more than Gaston's. We're about to leave for the theater, and I'm quite, quite anxious. First, gotta get my boots on. You know, the ones that I love to tromp around in so much. Ooh, the lighting here is perfect. <laughs> ah. Hello, little kitty. Are you expecting me to feed you? Well, you just had dinner. Nobody loves kitties like Gaston. Even though the traffic here is surprisingly smooth, I probably could have gotten us there if I ran. But it's sort of nice to slow down and enjoy the scenic route. Even though it's completely dark and I can't see a thing. Well, we arrived at the theater. Now the problem is finding a good parking spot. Luckily, nobody finds a good parking spot like Gaston. See, I told you I'd find a good parking space. And it only took for us to go underground. Which is kind of creepy when you think about it. Well, there's something familiar that I'd like to see. Hello. <laughs> Well, how do you like this, the VIP lounge? After all, nobody is very important, like Gaston. Well, we're about to head into the movie. I've got a lot of excitement, and you should see the seats we've got just right up in front of the screen. Any of you to see me up close and personal is perfectly fine by me. I just hope that it lives up to the original, and by original, I mean me. That was perfect. <clears throat> I'm not crying. You're crying. Unbelievable. Even when the armrests come out, I still manage to spill something. Well, nobody spells popcorn like Gaston. So, Gaston, what'd you think of the movie? Oh, I thought it was brilliant. Everything was... Absolutely gorgeous. Your favorite Especially. part. Your oh yes. Um, I'd have to say, anytime Kevin is on screen, I'd say he's a, a fine young actor. You can probably look for him in other ways. <laughs> but you know, it probably doesn't measure up to the one and original guest star. Of course. I like to be incorrigible. I know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. A gym. You know, I uh, tend to lift pretty well. Lots of lifting. I wonder if they're still open. It'd be quite flattering for them to have a legend in their midst. In all seriousness though, Beauty and the Beast was truly spectacular. And as much as I can understand why other people, including myself, have been apprehensive about this, I truly think that this was a really, uh, a really loving tribute to the original film. And it, it, it dared to uh, try a few new things too, which I, I really admire. So uh, you can hear all about my thoughts and opinions about that when I get around to making my full review before I take a few more repeat viewings of it. But uh, dressing up as Gaston is always fun. But there is one more costume that I'm a little bit more concerned about. And at this rate, I'm never going to get it done. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, I am Zorokatone, the other apprentice, also known as Gaston the Great, and I will be seeing you real soon. Bye!